I don't know, I know it sounds crazy, but I feel like I've been to these places every time I dream about them. But they're in the past. Some of them are in the future. Doesn't make any sense. But sometimes people just have a vivid imagination, Henry. It's not a big deal. Yeah, but what about the man that I keep dreaming about? He's always there, protecting me. Perhaps he's representing the father figure that you don't have. Yeah, I guess that could be part of it. My mom won't talk about him. Maybe you need to ask her why. Hey, Gina, well, I'm just glad that you're here with me. I guess it's gonna suck for the whole summer. Yeah, you definitely don't have to tell me that. I mean, look at these other losers that are here. I can't believe I'm with them. Yo, Mr. Granson is a mean bastard. He just fails everybody because he wants to. Yeah, well, I definitely don't need this. It's ruining my summer. I'm supposed to be going to Paris with my parents, and they said I can't. But don't you worry, babe. I'll make sure this summer is exciting for you. You don't gotta worry. I know you'll try, Eddie. Well, Henry, you're really going and done it this time, haven't you? What kind of trouble are you in? Come on now, you don't have to worry about me. I can handle anything. Please, Henry, you can't handle shit. But I'm here to help you, if you need me. Yes, I know you're definitely a loyal friend, but I have Damien. I'll be fine. Here, yeah, well, you know, there's a whole bunch of problems coming, besides the aliens. So you're gonna need all the help you can get. Trust me, if I need you, I will call you. And I appreciate it. Alright, suit yourself. I'm going after the gentleman. You're one of the time rebels, so you've come to surrender? Yes, I'm a time rebel, I never surrender. But, I had to meet you, Christian. Alright, and just why in the hell would you have to meet me? It's just say I took a trip into the future, and I've seen ours, and we're gonna be together. I'm Wilma. Okay, Wilma, you really think that I would be with a time rebel? Are you insane? Please, I know underneath all that tough exterior, you like me. Yo, yeah, well, time travel's made you delusional. Well, damn, I had no idea that time rebels could be so beautiful. My name's Matt. Yeah, well, it's nice to meet you too, Matt. I'm Onyx. Thanks for the compliment. Yeah, well, listen, I know I'm supposed to arrest you and everything, but could we go out for drinks first? Oh, trust me, you and your partner are not gonna arrest us, and we could definitely go out for drinks. Well, hang on a minute, your partner? Someone else is here? Yeah, my friend will, man. Don't worry. She'll take care of your partner. Come on now, Time Rebel. Did you really think that you were just going to sneak aboard our vessel? Yeah, well, damn, if I would have known some time authorities were beautiful, I would have done it a long time ago. Please save your flattery, Romeo. It's not going to work on me. Come on now, I know you can feel this. There's something between us. Yes, it definitely is. It's called a cell. And I don't want to talk to you anymore. I want to know where your leader is. Well, damn, girl, all you had to do was ask. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Well, come on now, they're gorgeous. You didn't have to lock me up for this. Save your times for somebody else, Rebel. You're going to prison for a long time for breaking all kinds of laws. Well, come on, rules are always meant to be broken. I'm sure you've done it a couple of times. I'm time authority. I don't break any rules. I enforce them. Come on now, all business and no pleasure. That's pretty lonely. Yeah, my personal life is none of your business. Yeah, well, I definitely have to admit, I wasn't expecting a human to look like you. Oh, damn there, Gail, I hope that was a compliment. Trust me, it definitely was. Now I want you to tell me more about this Dr. Time. What's his deal? Hey, well, his story's a little more complicated. He's the only one of his kind. At least, that we know of. And he has the ability to jump through any time that he wants to. That's interesting. He definitely makes it easier. Comes in handy. Yes, Merla is speaking to the leader of the Time Rebels. She is telling me something about a Dr. Time. Yeah, I definitely heard about him. Supposedly he's one of a kind. He could jump through time. Doesn't need a ship or anything. Uh, with that type of ability, we could use him. We need to find this Dr. Time. Yeah, well, don't worry, the others are working on it. But he's not easy to find, that's for sure. No, I imagine he would not be, so we are going to need a way to lure him out. Yeah, well, are you done with all of your sweeps of the planet? Because now, Merc is sending us a message. He wants us to look for a Dr. Time. Yes, I have definitely completed all of my sweeps. Not a surprise, this planet is so primitive. Yeah, I definitely hear you on that. So what's this deal with this Dr. Time? I am searching the Time Authority records now. Apparently, 
is very unique. He can travel through time without a machine. I don't know. wonder why Merck's interested. That'd be useful. Yes, it would. Yeah, well, you could save your breath because I'm not telling you anything. You know, that's kind of Dr. Privilege. Come on now. The fate of the world is on this. I need to know. Do you think the kid's got that kind of power? Honestly, I don't know. He's dreamed about going to different places, but I don't know if he's actually physically been there. Yeah. Well, Dr. Time said it started like that when he was a kid, so he might be useful too. That boy's been through enough. Y'all don't need to be putting this on him. Yeah, but we're gonna need him. Well, Heather Handsome, I hope you're not avoiding me. Fee? No, I'm, I'm not trying to avoid you. I just got a lot on my mind right now. Yeah, well, you definitely look like you were thief in thought. Anything I can help with? Honestly, no. The only person that can help me is my mom, and she won't give me any answers. Well, you just can't give up. You've got to go in there and demand answers. You want me to come with? Yeah, that'd be nice, B, but I need to handle this one alone. I will talk to you later. Maybe we can grab some lunch. Boy, well, now I guess I wasn't the only one who wanted to get some extra credit in computer class. Yeah, I wish that was the case. I have to take this class over again. Well, hell now, if you need any help with your computer stuff, I'm Garrett. Hey, yeah, I definitely do. I don't mean. Yeah, I know who you are. Seen you in a couple of my classes. Haven't had the nerve to talk to you, though. So, are you totally hitting on me? Because if you are, we can go and grab some lunch after this. Yes, to both of those questions. Alright, everyone, listen up. We definitely got a situation here. We gotta find this kid, and we gotta find him yesterday. Yes, of course, Commander, whatever you need us to do. Yeah, maybe we could talk to the Time Rebels, I mean. I think they're willing to help. Yeah, well, I definitely wouldn't trust the Time Rebel, but if you can find out anything, go for it. Yes, well, I did get some new information. They surveyed the planet, and I think they're getting ready for an attack. Yes, no matter, I suggest that we strike first. Not a bad idea. Let's get on there. All right, everyone, now that we are all gathered here, we need to get our plan together to destroy Earth. Yes, we're gonna have to divide up and conquer on this because some of us need to go after Dr. Time. Yes, we are all in agreement, but we must figure out what to do with the Time Authority. Yeah, because those guys, they're not gonna play around and they're not gonna stand for us attacking. Oh, no. Since when are we afraid of any kind of Time Authority? Yeah, well I for one wouldn't underestimate him. Trust me, we will definitely not do that. Yeah, well, definitely. Thanks, ladies, for getting us out of there. Those Time Authority, they do not play around. Yeah, they definitely don't, but they are kind of good to look at, aren't they? All right, now, guys, is enough for the cheater. We've got some serious business to discuss. Yeah, of course, we definitely do, because everybody's after Dr. Time. Yeah, apparently he's very important, and he has a child. Hey, well, I heard the same room myself, and if it's true, there's going to be a lot of trouble coming. Whoa, how did I get here? I was just in my room. Am I dreaming? No, yeah, my dear Henry, you're definitely not dreaming. I am Dr. Time. This is my associate, Mr. Who. Yeah, well, it's definitely nice to meet you. I must be going crazy. I had a mental breakdown. What am I doing here? I'm not my son. There's no reason to panic. I went through this myself when I was your age. So I'm just like you. Wait a minute. Did you just call me your son? He definitely catches on quick, doesn't he? Yes, Henry, I am your father. Well, Ian, how was your first day of summer school? Hope it wasn't too bad. No, Dad, I actually thought it was going to be bad, but then I met Garrett. All right now, son, I don't want anybody interfering with your schoolwork, as we got you in this mess in the first place. Come on now, Dad, you don't have to worry about me. Besides, it was computer class. You don't even know how to work a computer. Yeah, well, in my day, we didn't need him to graduate, so... Don't you worry, Dad, I am definitely focused. I will not fail this class. Well, you better not, son, because I've got a college fund for you, and... Yeah, well, I'm definitely glad you got a smile on your face for once. Maybe you'll have a nice summer, Fee. Yeah, Mom, I'm definitely gonna have a very nice summer. I've got the best job, and I think I've got a boyfriend. Yeah, well, at least that makes one of us. So, is it that Henry kid? I like him. He's smart. Yeah, Mom, that he definitely is. He is smart. Yeah, well, I definitely hope you have better luck with guys than I do. Yeah, Mom, don't you worry. I'm not gonna let this one get away. No matter how weird he is. Well, hey, Garrett, you've been awful quiet today. Something going on at school? You alright? You don't gotta worry about me, Mama. School was great. I finally talked to him. Oh, so you finally talked to him? The reason that you actually went to summer school voluntarily? Don't you worry, Mama. It's definitely gonna be so worth it. And I'll have extra credit anyway. 
Yeah, well, if it works out, why don't you find out how his dad's doing? Is he single still? Yeah, Mama, as far as I know, he's single. Maybe I'll introduce you.